mind something happens and you swear the exact same thing has happened before. Or maybe you visit a place that you have never visited before, but somehow it seems familiar. That feeling is known as deja vu. But that's not what we're talking about today. Instead, we're talking about one of the other vus, and it's called jamais vu. The feeling of familiarity that deja vu can give you is pretty creepy. Jamais vu is less creepy and more along the lines of frustrating. It is a phenomenon in which a person perceives a familiar situation as if they had never been confronted with it before. Familiar objects, and even people, become completely strange for a few minutes. This may sound weird, but odds are you've experienced it to some degree. For example, have you ever said something that you could have sworn you'd said at least a million times before, but suddenly it was the weirdest sounding thing ever? Or maybe you've blanked on your PIN number after using it daily for a decade, or forgotten which hallway to take at work or at school. The list can go on and on. The point is, in some form or another, you've probably experienced jamais vu. Perhaps more interesting than the phenomenon itself is how it could be connected to other conditions in the brain. Jamais vu can be linked with forms of epilepsy and amnesia, with seizures, jamais vu can surface as a visual aura due to a partial seizure disorder which originates from the temporal lobe. It can also occur as a migraine aura. There is also ongoing related research regarding jamais vu in schizophrenia patients. Some researchers believe that the symptom of a schizophrenic believing a familiar person has been replaced by an imposter to be the result of chronic jamais vu. Although jamais vu is considered a symptom associated with these conditions, that doesn't mean that experiencing it means you have these conditions. In other words, correlation isn't causation. According to researchers, jamais vu is possibly induced by what's known as semantic satiation, which occurs when the brain becomes fatigued in a specific way. In one study, researchers asked 92 subjects to write common words such as door 30 times in 60 seconds. When the participants were later asked to describe their experiences, 68% of them showed signs of jamais vu. For example, after writing door over and over again, some participants reported that they felt as if they were spelling something else. Some thought they had been tricked into thinking it was the right word for a door. That sounds pretty similar to the so-called imposters people with schizophrenia experience, doesn't it? As it turns out, some scientists would say yes. In fact, studying jamais vu could help researchers better understand psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia or Capgras delusion, wherein people believe someone they know very well has been replaced by an imposter. Still, to this day, jamais vu remains a mystery to scientists. The main difficulty in studying this phenomenon is that it's difficult to recreate or simulate in the laboratory. However, some neuroscientists tend to explain both phenomena, déjà vu and jamais vu, by inconsistencies in the interactions between two parts of the brain responsible for memory and the perception of information. While they both may originate from the same cause, jamais vu is ten times less common than déjà vu. If you're ever in a situation where you experience jamais vu, instead of just freaking out, take a deep breath and be present. The feeling will soon pass away and you'll be able to carry on with whatever it was you were doing.